We now go live to Drunk Billy in the Channel 5 Newscopter. What? Quantum physics writes, Dear Blasphemous HD, Last night I was hanging out at my house with my three kids and I asked one of my kids to go to 7-Eleven to buy me some more liquor. I specifically asked my four-year-old to go since he's the most responsible but he wouldn't take the car keys from me to make this liquor run. What do I do, Blasphemous HD? So what I want you guys to do is every time you have to yell at your kids, I want you to put a quarter in your no yelling sock. Sooner or later, you'll have a weapon enough to beat. And with that being said, you guys have sent me a family guy trying to the laugh challenge called simply Stewie's first date. Let's do this. It's the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Check it out. Those swimsuit issues don't excite me like they used to. I've been spoiled by internet porn. No, I don't use the damn internet. I thought that was for nerds. Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh, yeah, you can even see Tanya Harding's honeymoon video on there. I was about to throw it out. If anyone wants it, it's theirs. Hey, Dad. Where are you going with that cutout? Oh, hey, kids. This is Kathy. We're designing lifestyle products together. You know, Lois won't be home from groceries for a while. I have an idea. What type of... What? Under the table, right now. I'm out. Peter? Oh, no. What the hell is going on? We're... in love. What? You're an idiot. My lawyer will he call really you a lawyer. Is. Kids, you don't have to call her mom right away, but I do want you guys to get along. Yay! You <laughs> know your whole mother... You nasty I'm gonna get in on that. Please don't get in on that. We cannot. But have you seen Kathy? We were gonna go get her passport renewed. Oh, Chris took her into his room about ten minutes ago. What? Kathy! Kathy! There you are. Oh, don't give me that look. You don't think I know where you've been? Why did you have to provoke me? Why did you have... You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? I'm sorry, Lois. I was a fool. I'm done with Kathy. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> so that's where Quagmire. Down. That's why Peter. Quagmire started. Oh, Lois, I missed you. Beating you and your wonderful smile and your beautiful eyes and your. Uh -huh. I just told you I have a lump. I got a lump too, and mine's easier to get rid of. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh no, that's that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. When we were married, your father made me conceal the fact so he could get into country clubs. It was the right thing to do. It was originally Hebrewberg money grabber. That makes you Jewish, Lois, and your children, too. Oh, thank you for coming over, Max. I really need some advice from an actual Jewish person. Oh, it's my pleasure, Lois. Too many people go overboard with what they believe, like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. There's no reason things should be any different around here. Shalom, Jews. Oh, and I don't respond to Peter. From now on, I want you to use my Hebrew name. <laughs> what the? Look, Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Peter, this is all unnecessary. Our life was fine the way it was. Check it out. I'm one of you guys now, eh? Huh? A pharaoh's despotic rule. Hey, if anyone appreciates a good yoke, it's the use. You're pretty. Oh, thank you. Mom, is sodomy illegal if you're Jewish? Dad, this isn't the way to school. Yes, it is, Chris. One of the best parts about being Jewish is getting to take advantage of their excellent schools. And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. And it's also why many families give their children eight days of presents. Wait, did she say eight days of presents? Yeah. Is that is that part of the huh. presents? That was easy. Athletic Hall I of Fame picked out a sexy little Jewish outfit for you at the store. What is that? Peter, get off me. Mm, mm, tell me I don't earn as much as your friend's husband. Mm, mm. Peter, stop it. I'm going oh. to sleep. You were raised Catholic. If you forsake your religion, you'll spend eternity in hell. Man, oh, God. They if say I don't rid the house of this Jewish curse, this family is going to go to hell. And well, I won't let that happen. Peter, you were the only one who was even taking this thing seriously. Peter, you ready for dinner? Oh, that's just like the Parker Lewis episode when Parker Lewis ate dinner. Peter, nobody cares about your canceled show. Parker Lewis can't lose. Heretofore, Batman can suck on that. Suck Ooh. on that? Suck on this! 
Tic Tacs have only one and a half calories. Lois, what Peter is doing to you is exactly what Carter did to me for years. He's repressing your Jewish identity. <laughs> I don't want to see you make the same mistake. I don't know, Mom. I'll think about it. <laughs> Carter, knock it off! There's salmon over here! Is there really salmon over there? No. You walk over there and he squirts you with a squirt gun. <laughs> ah! What the hell? Mm. I don't get it. <laughs> oh! Peter, for God's sake! I am so sorry, Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Oh. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. Mom was right. I can't just sit here and let you dump all over my heritage. I'm not going to make the mistake she did. Hey, now, if you so want to go to hell, that's fine. But don't drag the rest of us down with you like a mentally handicapped rooster. Doesn't it seem like every Jewish holiday has to do with them escaping from stuff? No, Chris. And you know, tricking some bigger, more athletic people. Now let's move on to the washing of the hands. This is a very important part of the ceremony. Hey, hey, hey! Who here thinks they can kick my ass? Peter, you are not going to ruin the Seder. Now get out of here. All right, I'm going to go lie down, and then I'm going to come back and mess up your Seder. Oh. This is the stupidest thing he's done since he got in a turf war with that cat. <laughs> Okay, what else we got on that train? A kitty cat! A doggy! Kevin Smith, because he's too fat to ride a plane! Yay! He's a good oh. singer! Yeah, I've been catching his library shows since there were only like three or four kids here. Oh, looks like somebody made a friend. I know. This is my husband, Ben. Hi, glad to know you. Gosh, you know, our little Scotty seems to be having such a good time with your son. Stewie, do you want to be the Autobots or the Decepticons? Autobots, Decepticons, gay, straight, just pick a few robots and let's party. He doesn't know Transformers. Yeah, actually, I, I, I'd love to play. Who, who should I be? Should, should I be one of these guys? Uh, I'll, I'll be this guy. Who's this guy, huh? Relax, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be this guy over here. That's He-Man. We're playing Transformers. Well, maybe this is the one where He-Man visits. You don't know the characters, Brian. You don't know the characters. See, if you could hear yourself right now, you rules. would not stop throwing up. You can't just put He-Man in Transformers World. Yeah, Get out can. of here. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting some steam. Picking up steam here, Scotty. You better look out. I don't feel so well. Peter, what happened? Yeah, you know me, Lois. I don't pry. Peter, There's he's not, not moving. We gotta get him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, his lab work shows he is suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't know, I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable. Scotty oh. has cancer, we know. You shouldn't have brought him to the hospital without talking to us first. We're Christian scientists. We don't accept medical care. Don't you understand? Scotty needs help. And he'll get it through faith. That's right. We will heal him with the power of prayer. Mom, oh! I think there's a lot of religions that do that. Well, that may be, Meg, but that poor little baby has cancer and they're just gonna take him home and pray over him? If you die tomorrow, you think we're gonna be devastated, but you know what? We're just gonna go out and buy another dog. And maybe this dog will fetch a stick and bring me my slippers. I have to go talk to the Jennings and ask them to reconsider getting treatment for no, Scotty. Let I'm him going die. with you, Lois. Yeah, I'll go too. Let him die. Oh, Lois, you gotta let Peter, him... come on in. We were just praying for Scotty's recovery. Oh, boy. If you'd like, you can join us. You really needn't worry, Lois. Scotty will get all the help he needs. From where? From, from the here. Lord. Oh, really? So with this book from the 1800s, you can pray away paralysis or terminal illness? Yes, we would pray for anyone who's afflicted. Look, I'm oh a churchgoer too, but sometimes prayer isn't enough. He needs professional medical care. Um, does your god also not believe in putting out snacks for the guests? Come on, Lois, mm -hmm. I think we're wasting our time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? But the fact is, there are no laws that say those people have to take their child to the doctor. How can that be? Children are citizens, too. How could we live in a country that would allow a sick child to die? You could contribute to the policeman's ball. We're really more of a fireman's ball family. Oh, yeah? Are the firemen going to come and put out the rape? Well, I don't know about that, Peter. <laughs> Kidnapping is against the law. It's too bad we're not taken from taken. Us going in there and taking that kid and getting him some help. I mean, I know it's wrong, but it's better than just letting him die. And it's not a bad idea. Peter, what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's kind of hard to breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. All right. All the lights are out. They must be asleep. It's go time. Peter, wow. cutting the wires to the alarm? Check. Upside down, Peter, who isn't revealed to be upside down until the camera spins around and shows that he is. Check.
Asian pita contorted into a box that will be delivered into the house. Hey! Okay, he's in the left upstairs. Ocean's bedroom. Eleven. All right, you keep the car going in case there's trouble. Oh. And Harry Potter. Well, you know, we ain't known this family that long. I'm still learning everybody's names. Damn it, mm. put him back and go get Scotty, the baby! What was that? I don't know. It came from Scotty's room. Watch this prey over Local it. kidnapping has rocked Quahog tonight. Rocked Quahog? Really? The whole town is what the family, maybe. What can you tell us, Mr. Mayor? Please, Mr. Mayor is my father. Call me John Mayor. Do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. Don't you worry, Scotty. We're going to get you That's to the hospital woman. and get you the medical attention you need. Yeah, hang in there, buddy. When this is over, we can get some ice cream. It's a problem, bro. Giving a Lois, shit Peter, when you ain't supposed right to be there. giving a You're shit. You're under arrest yeah, for there. kidnapping. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over the baby and surrender. We would like two tickets to the policeman's ball. Too late! There they are! Ben, Hope, I know you don't believe in modern medicine, but you do believe in the power of prayer. That's right. Vaccines and antibiotics are all actually answered prayers? I believe life is sacred, and I know you want Scotty to live a full life. <laughs> Please, let God answer your prayers. Please let your son get help. All right, Lois. Scotty can have his treatment. It sounds like Scotty's gonna make a full recovery. Looks like your little friend's gonna be okay. Well, I don't care about him. I've got a new friend who's got leprosy. Sorry, I spaced on your name at the party store. Have a good one, Brent. Tuppers. Thanks for having us, Peter. I don't recall inviting Kevin, but sure. Hey, happy birthday, Brian. Bonnie and I got you a big stick. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I can make this work. Happy birthday, Brian. I got you a card. It also says, love Aunt Judy and Uncle Bob. A joke that good doesn't celebrate just one birthday. Motherfucker. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30, I a, went down at noon. You got me a already already all night watching birthday bad reality card? You got me TV. already been used Next, birthday card, Next, he's gotta card, pick up a rideshare customer. Mm. Hi, everyone. Peter Griffin. Welcome to the roast portion of the evening. You know, I hear he can't even bury a bone these days without Viagra. <laughs> All right. Oh. I heard Brian just learned how to roll over and beg for an erection. Peter, I'm fine. Are you sure this isn't about you not being able to perform on your anniversary? I told you that in confidence! I heard there's a special feature on the Blu-ray that's just so dying and shrieking the commentary. Huge, if true. Remember last week? So did I, from bitch! The same play -Doh? Don't tell on me, bitch. Oh, this is the day. Oh, no. Don't. What are you? Does that work? Jimmy, listen. I Never just do that. think you should get tested, okay? What? Get tested? Uh, I use hey, a Bonnie, condom on you. What are you talking around? about? We no, ain't hit wall. Oh, that's too bad. Tomorrow is Chris's career day. And Did you park in the handicap spot? Ninjas don't have cars. Well, it's getting towed. Oh, no. My Chevy Cruze. Something smells good in here. You cooking Brussels sprouts? No, I just farted. That checks out. You want a little taste? Mm, yes. Holy crap! That's the best thing I've ever had! You can sit in Joe's dining harness if you like. How does he get into that thing? We have a large array of medical grade cranes and pulleys that lift him. Running late at the office, eat without you, eat without me. But you were just home, your car still in the driveway. They sent the limo because that's how good I work. That's how good of work I do. That makes sense. Okay, we're good. So, how long have you had Invisalign? You can see it? Yeah, I mean, it's just a name, not a fact. Chin up, bud. Incontinence is really not that uncommon at your age. What underwear do you recommend? Depends. Stewie, come in. How many boogies would you say you consume in a week? Oh, God, maybe like one, maybe two during the holidays, maybe? Stewie, I'm your doctor. I've just been so nervous about these test results. Well, that's understandable, seeing as how you did test positive. You're ready to die. It's part of my alternative cooties therapy. Did you know you can literally vibrate disease out of the body? No, I know the opposite of that. Brian, this is the Flintstones cocktail I have to take every day. 17 Barneys, 18 Wilmers. I have to take the Bam Bams just to keep things moving. Peter, what's wrong? You don't have an appetite. I'm gonna get one. Just give me a minute. Oh, this is better, Bonnie. Did you just call me Bonnie? No! God, God, no! What if you spun the plate around, Dad? Tried it from behind. Meg, go to place. Ugh, do I have to? I said yes. go to place! 
Okay, we're rolling. Hi, I'm Tony Award winner Stewie Griffin Styles. What? It's called manifesting, Bri. Stewie, you got a letter from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Gritty, gritty, gritty. I'm not going to pee in a cup for you, so stop asking. This was supposed to be my day and you're ruining it. <sighs> You'll Venmo me for this too, I suppose? She's alive, right? Stewie, come on, this is ridiculous. Do you mind this music, Brian? Il torno. I do. Il torno. Enough, Stewie. Yoo-hoo. Anyone home? I'll get it. No, I got it. Oh, they sure do grow up fast, don't they? I know you like wagon wheel pasta. Of course I like wagon wheel pasta. I'm an adult with a developmental disorder. Man, that smells good. Hello, Brian. If you're watching this, it means you couldn't find your phone charger and came in to use mine. Oh. So I've decided to take a bus to Vermont to have physician-assisted suicide. What? Anyway, you were a good friend, Bri. Oh, and if they make a movie assisted? about my life, don't let Jim Carrey play me. I drove my best friend away, and now he's alone and dying on a bus somewhere. Sounds like a personal problem Oh, also, problem you can me. have my penis enlarging machine. Hey, guys, have you seen Stewie? No. Have you checked his Instagram? Of course. That's it. He's in Burlington. Thanks, Chris. Burlington this is seriously the best turkey I've ever had, Barney. Yo, she tried to get pregnant, bro. Hey, Maybe go go get pregnant doing that, bro. There's a difference between 10th Street and 10th Avenue. Anyway, I may have bonered look, the look, look, ladies, do not cook no I need a distraction mother. so I can get out of here. Oh, God, Peter's texting me about going to the clam. That guy is getting insufferable. Do not cook no delicious this food around me and expect again, not Barney. to get impregnated. Time for a poignant a cinematic farewell. A female cooked me three delicious meals, bro. Like, well, Hang I ain't tight, gonna get impregnated. I'm coming. I like to wait at least six months to a year before I hit any chick raw. To is that make Bernie sure that, like, we have a Someone at Coachella must have said my name three times. Goodbye. Oh. It's eggs and garlic. I microwaved them till they were mixed. But with cooking like that, oh. it make oh. me, yeah, you know I mean, beautiful. like, I, I, now if you'll excuse one day me, I might I'm just say, go run, I might just run that. Sing Melissa Manchester's "Don't Cry Out Loud." We now go live to Drunk Billy in the Channel Five newscopter. <laughs> what? We put together a clip package featuring some of Billy's work for Channel 5 News. I'm still hungry, said the very hungry caterpillar, but you've already... Oh, shit! Wait! <laughs> what? What? Look at it. In this week's TV... Dad's turn. I don't know, Chris, but I think we should all pray for your father that he comes out of this uninjured. I only came because I'm writing a magazine article. One of the competitors is you a 13-year-old female writing prodigy. Apparently, she got on the bull to I miscarry to and found out she had a talent for it. Ah! Oh. You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. Ah! 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 I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. I'm not perverted. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Yes! Well, Three. we're looking for Thank someone you. to a piece on the everyday activities Thank you. of the average American teenage girl. Bro, I just had that happen castle, to me, bro. But I'm building a sand retreat for singles in their 30s. Bro, I, I hit her once. Shh, I'm and writing an article on like teenage girls times. for a magazine. I'm um, studying Meg to see what goes on during you her You know day. what I mean? Uninvited. Just, just because you're writing a profile times. on teenage girls. I'm like, yo, a creepy can your boy take a Meg shower? All day. What can you that, tell what me? An adult can you tell me you're on your way so I can take a shower? One would think they could just say that. Can your boy clean all the other condom wrappers up? Like, can you give me some time? Meg's dating a convict. Have you gotten all the letters and hair that I sent? bro, bro, that's The only thing that's getting me by, Meg. Thank you. How'd your parole hearing go? Not good. Oh my god, Meg's involved with a convict. Well, Meg's like one of those crazy chicks who hooks up with an even crazier guy. Meg, he did exactly Meg. the right thing by coming to us. Don't you know what kind of fire you're playing with dating a prisoner? He robbed a convenience store.
afford to pay for medication for his mom. Oh, I'm sure he gave you a very convincing sob story. We had a pen pal project at school, and when it was over, Luke and I just kind of kept writing to each other. Well, it stops now. But mom, I love him. I can't. I'm with my family. Prisoners, Pick up wine on the way. That's work. That works. That well, really Angela, works. if I'm really the only guy that, that works, really works. Serve it, I'll be right there. That works. My God, how did you get that out? Works. I filed down a toothbrush to a fine point and stabbed the guard with the most kids. What? Ooh, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think man, I said he stabbed the guard with the rest so of so long, and it's nice to be in front of someone for a change. <laughs> you gotta realize I was only thinking about your safety. And... He broke out to see me, Brian. Nick, I thought We're that was love. in my room. Nick, are you crazy? Like, you mother... can't harbor a fugitive. That's a felony. Only if someone finds out. Oh, no. Luke, run! Come outside. There's an escaped convict running across the street. You're going to jail, punk. You're under arrest for harboring an escaped convict. Oh, well, that's only fair because after all, I did hide him from the. What? Did you also get caught trying to vote in Ohio? Oh, I used to live in Ohio. She's I'm from probably Cleveland. a little fragile after being in there so long, it's and I'm Cleveland. sure she'll be hot to see our faces. <laughs> Come on, home. Down to Cleveland He's the biggest, town toughest anyone. guy in this house. Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe oh. I hold the distinction of. <laughs> now, who's the funniest? Oh. I know my way around a joke. Oh. Oh. oh! What the hell are you oh. doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me. Not, not for. What are you doing with that loofah? Don't, don't worry about it. No. No. Ah. Oh my Man, God! What is my, that smell? My child, it's my bro. poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. Oh Word. my God! Are you using my yeah, shirts too, as bitch. toilet paper? Yeah. And I think I might need some right now. That's Meg you think your Griffin. Prince of Persia she just got out of prison. Give you some hey, Meg, bits? what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to take those joke. soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption that Center? That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do this, too. I've done this Meg's a bunch been of times. Suspended from Every school. new school okay, I went to, to, to do. I had to do this. Three kids skulls open. At least half Look at Meg. The they took an innocent little girl and turned her into a psychotic, sociopathic freak. Yeah, be a non-psychotic and don't go good you. in public school. Well, don't. I can take care of myself. Never be sane in public school, bro. You'll just get picked on. Drive. Um, oh, oh. Any particular direction? Hey, look, Brandon, that way. This, bro. What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, roofies, like and a mallet? It's like a rare this video? African bird called none your business. Here, Af just take this jar for the leukemia kids. I don't give it to them anyhow. Meg, put down the gun. Brian, get back in the car. Look, if you don't put the gun down, I'm going to be forced to call the police. Good. Call the police. I want you to. What do I care if I go back to prison? It's the article I wrote about you. You wrote an article about me? They wanted a story about a typical teenage girl. And in the face of every adolescent challenge, she looks at the world through hopeful eyes and maintains an uncommon resilience that can only be admired. Did you mean all that? Of course I did. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe I did this. Thanks for reminding me who I really am. You don't need a gun to rob people. What are you doing? I gotta say, Meg, I like Just you so much better this like shit. this. Me too, Meg. That's one of the beautiful things about hey, being fellas, black. Y'all sat for some. I don't have to have a gun print. or a knife I to rob you, people. I, I can just print. ask them I for their stuff. I once met Pollock. Can you eight finally. times out of ten? You watch Paralyzed too? Nine Guys, times out of ten. I don't think I can make it today. It's they looking like Bonnie might go into labor any minute. Sorry, fellas. Have a good time. Joe is just going to keep bailing on us until that baby comes out of Bonnie's butt. Babies what? come out of the butt, right? We're what? not complete without Joe. You remember when he bailed on us for that trip to the spa and we had to find another handicapped guy? How the hell are you alive? And I'm going to turn on two and a half men. If your baby isn't totally brain dead, it'll come rushing out to change a channel. I'll grab his hand and yank him out of there. All right, that didn't work, so it's time for plan B. Guys, let's go down to the clam and drink beer and watch sports. Guys, Bonnie's going into labor. We got to get her to the hospital. Quick, uh, Peter, get the car. No way. I don't want uh, pregnant yeah. mess in my back seat. Shit. I didn't look when Lois gave birth, and I can't look now. You can just tell me what it looks like. You ever see a horse blink his eye? And here's the baby. <laughs> She's beautiful. Isn't she, sweetheart? She That's beautiful. sure is, Joe. I can't wait to have a baby someday. Oh, Meg. In order to make a baby, a man has to be aroused enough to ejaculate. It comes with every loaf of bread. When we're done selecting our piece of bread, we use the tie to preserve... Are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Combs. I got her hospital bill this morning. 
How bad is it? It's $20,000. Where are we going to get that kind of money? I'm going to show you what a man you really are. Now, let's go put your penis on. Joe? What the hell? Are you working here? I have to, Quagmire. The baby's hospital bill drained all our savings, so I've had no choice. Hey, you should listen to this guy, Joe. He's flipping a nickel and chewing on a toothpick. That's the devil, ain't it? Here's one now. I can never look at it dead on. It's always trying to get away. I hey, floater. I floater. Oh, Hi. I floater. Hey, hey, where you going? I've had oh, I Brian, floated. come here. Would you mind listening to this song I've written for Susie Swanson and tell me what you think? Okay. Susie. Well, I've still got to do a little work on it. What's it called? What? Susie. Wow, a song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Go fuck yourself. This lemonade stand was a really good idea. It's selling really well. That's because it has my secret ingredient in it. Vodka. Oh, yeah, just what I need. To be rubbed down by a big fatty, an old black guy, a cripple, and a pervert. Is there any way you could help us out? At least take the pervert. Of course I could. At but least the pervert knows what don't. he's doing. That's why females love She's perverts, so you know what I'm saying? That's Look why that. females love he hoes. Whole bottle in her mouth. And then you because he hoes. Out the door with a Number one. Everything looks we like don't care if you got a husband. We don't Maybe care if you cheat. We don't want. We don't want none of that. Cloudy out you know what I mean? We don't care about none of that. Get your own relationship and love from the other person. Then we go to you know I mean? Get the deep Brian from me, comes in baby. and I change up the tempo. You know, only a being a girl's energy and play. And you know what I mean? She got a lead of like anime, the boss is video games. He wants his you know money. I mean? Look what she they did like to me. My videos. legs are useless now. And she got to have a very, very, <laughs> Guys, very... we are going to plan a robbery. Guy whose chin looks like a balls. This Saturday is the Pewter Schmidt's annual bring all your cash and put it in our safe party. There could be as much as 40 million. That's 10 million each. I could afford to produce a movie with B-plus stars and a not-so-expensive location. Oh, Hell there's my laptop. No. Do you mind? I want to check my email. Go away! I'm editing this music video I'm making for Susie. Movie? Oh, really? There, all done. All right, Brian, get ready to feel. What? Look into your heart. Stewie, that is the worst thing I have ever seen, ever. And I've seen Peter when he's frozen in sex face. Oh, no. Hey, Bill, would you help me program my Zune? Oh, wait, I have an voice. iPod, like Terrible. the rest of the world. Why, you? <laughs> Hey, fellas, knock off all that high society crap and play some of this. This ain't better. You're all clear to enter the vault. Copy that. They're not even clapping like on beat. I'm just beat. gonna have to cut through it. Good thing they I brought Reese Witherspoon's chin. Do you know where Peter is? Yeah, he and the guys went to go rob your dad. I believe you. It's me, Carter. I want my money. Voice print verified. Penile identification required. Oh, shit. Let me handle this. How the hell did you match it? Oh, I didn't match the shape. I just stuck it in there and broke it. Wow, look at this place. There's more dough in here than a Swedish bakery. All right, boys, pack up the dough and get out of there. Lois, what are you doing here? I'm here to try to talk some sense into you. Think about your beautiful little girl. You can't watch her grow up from jail. You'll miss running after her as she learns to walk. Put the money back and get out of there. What? Tell a Megatron. Do as I command! Okay, okay. How the hell did you get your dad to give him that 20 grand? I told him it was for me. I said I wanted to hire a divorce lawyer. <laughs> I'm going out of town for a few days. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. I'd love to help. Bonnie wants you to look after Susie and Joe while she's out of town. Uh, what? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, I think we're all set here. <laughs> I think you're going soft. I mean, when was the last time you tried to blow something up or take over the world? Come in. Drop it, creepo. I'm trying out some cop entrances. I'm here to help you out while Bonnie's gone. Oh, great. Well, Brian, I thought about what you said at the park, and I've decided you're right. I have gone soft. <laughs> okay, hit it. Well, how do you feel? I don't know. I don't feel any different. Oh, it just needs a few adjustments, that's all. Come on, help me get some of Peter's tools out of the garage.
99, 100. Oh, thanks, man. Sorry I bit you yesterday. Is it 10 of 8? Oh, damn it, I missed the bus. Oh, well, that's all right, Mag. I can drive you to school. Oh, hang on, there's a red light. Gotta hit the brakes. Hey, can you tell me what Lady Gaga is? Is that a band or a soda? Is Lady Gaga a douche? I don't think so. Well, whatever it is, I like it. This is my school. Most times people just drop me off a block away so they don't have to be seen with me. Hey, who's that? Your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Meg, you're here early. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you got a nice hot breakfast. If oh, she doesn't say plug, anything about that, me calling him Joe, that means that. we're truly in love. That's kind of weird. I, I should have said something. He let me say it twice is. now. It's like we're married. Shit. Hey, what are you doing? Oh! What the, hell? what the hell happened to you? Oh, easy, easy, man, easy. What? My machine did work. It created an evil clone of me. Evil Stewie, come with me. We're going to run a few tests on... Ooh. Is that Bonnie's dress? Susie spit up on me and I didn't want to go all the way home, man, so I just smash. threw this on. It's Bonnie. How's everything going there? Oh, great. Has Joe died? What? I'll be flying back first thing in the morning. That's great, too. Who is this? Wheelie, wheelie, stupid head. Bet you wish that you were dead. You better cut it out. What? Ma'am, is this your bag? I don't know how that cocaine got in there. This bag contains a concealed weapon. This is nice, Joe. A night out, a good dinner. Oh, thank you so much. Do you ever think about having another baby? You better smash, man. I don't know. You better smash, I that. guess I'm open to it. We haven't made love in two weeks. You haven't made love ever. Eh. This feels right, but it tastes like a dirty penny. For all we know, he could be killing someone else right now. Meg has a crush on me. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misread a few of Meg's signals. I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh my God, Joe was here. Yeah, he just left. You don't, you don't have a crush on Joe, do you? Um, I don't know. You're taking That's care of yes. him and you're feeling a closeness That's that you're yes. misinterpreting as a romantic connection. Just have sex with her, man. <laughs> now we can be together. We have to get you to the hospital. You got anything planned for that? Oh, I mean, I mean nothing, nothing. Keep walking. You don't know me. That was a crazy thing you did, Meg. I know. I'm, what type I'm of so shit? sorry. I'm lucky to have you as a neighbor, and even luckier to have you as a friend. Bonnie, I'm so sorry I got you arrested. No, it's all right, Meg. I hope that I didn't get you into too much trouble. I mean, you're shit. not going to go to jail or anything, are you? No, I'll be around. Evil Stewie? Wherever you are, if you can hear me, I'm completely defenseless right now. Hey, well, you know, you're doing me a favor. I've had enough. I can't live with that stupid family anymore. Oh, come on, not this thing, really? No. <laughs> what are they doing down there? They're like leg hands. And I'm really glad I didn't kill the wrong Stewie. Yeah, me too. Oh, how are you going to put a dead white woman as the outro, man? That's, <laughs> you're going to go viral. But yo, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. This is Blast Miss HD. Twisms.